Hey, what's happening guys? What do we have for you today? This fine cardboard box. And I don't know if you can see that well or not, but it says it's from DF Robot. A Chinese company. Surprise, surprise. I believe I am now on the mailing list of all Chinese companies. Oh, packing peanuts. Let me get that out of the way. So, what's in the box? This is the FIT0554 Smart Multifunction Charger. And it is from Litokala, or Litokala, or Litokala, or however the hell you say it. Zero volt activation, soft start function, USB output to charge your phone, Identify lithium ion nickel metal hydride battery compatible batteries 18 six, well you can just read that I'm not going to read them all to you but basically it does lithium double A's and triple A's LII 402 this is very nice packaging input micro USB DC 5 volt 2 amp output current 500 milliamp 700 milliamp 1000 2000 output voltage 1.2, 1 1.42, 1 1.55, lithium-ion 3.7 to 4.20, 3.8 to 4.35, and for life is 3.2 to 3.65. USB output 5 volt 1 amp, standby current less than 15 milliamp. Size, weight, contact us as Blake, I guess they don't want us to contact them. Well, let's see what's in here. The ubiquitous USB-A to micro USB. And the charger itself. Let's get all this chunk out of the way. Okay, so here's the unit and here are some dimensions. It's about three and a half. By four and three eighths. By one and an eighth. Or for you continental types. There you go. And there you go. This is very light. You can see here it says output 5 volt, input 5 volt, 2 amp. So I have this AC adapter here. I don't know if you guys can read that, but it is a 2 amp adapter. So we'll get that set up and we'll plug it in. Plug her in. And you can see it went through a little setup thing there, mode 500 milliamp. It does nothing. So let's put in a couple of absolutely not ultra fire 18650s. So they seem to be charging at 500 milliamps. Pressing the mode button seems to do absolutely nothing. Now here's a different one. This is actually a good 18650 from the Shenzhen Hushenbao Recnology Company Limited. We'll put it in the slot. It's going through its little analyzation and now charging. And what's nice about these spring loaded ones is here is a nice 18650 with no nipple on it. And it should charge that just fine as well. Okay. While it's going through its business, let's go take a look at this on DF Robot's website. Okay, so here's the website. The address, of course, is dfrobot.com. 
and the SKU is FIT0554. So just type that in, and there will also be a link down below. This is the Smart Multifunctional Charger, and it's 1890 US. There are some pictures, and then we have some information here. In the case of power, hold down the selection key for two seconds to select charging current. Press the select button to choose the type of rechargeable battery. Blah, blah, blah. When USB output is detected, the power indicator turns on for 10 seconds. When the charger is connected to the 5 volt power supply, all the LEDs will turn on if the battery is not fully put in the charging slot. Okay. So this, what's nice is the charger will automatically identify the batteries and it will charge or them. Once you've charged a certain type of battery, you need to unhook the power and reattach it to charge a different battery type. So again, here's all the information and there will be a link to it down below. So there it is, just working away. So let's see what happens when we pull a battery out, or fire a battery out, as the case may be. Well, it really launches them there. Okay. Nobody wants to watch a video where we're charging batteries, right? Right. But I bet you we want to see what's inside. So let's do that. screws to hold it together and a little do not tamper sticker oh, look at that I missed one that's what happens when I work late at night okay Shall we go in for a closer look? You know, there always seems to be a train coming in the middle of my videos. Okay. So here is the breadboard marking or the uh, PCB board markings. LII-402 Mark V1. So this must be the first generation of this charger board. Now this chip here, have no idea because they have completely Thank you, Mr. Train Man. They've completely obliterated any markings on it. The same with that IC there. But judging by these decoupling capacitors here along this row of pins, I'm assuming this is some sort of microprocessor. Okay, top side, we've got an inductor for each cell, one switch, um, our positive terminal, there are two diodes, no, there's three, no, there's four. Okay, so there's a diode for each channel, which is good, a couple diodes back here, must be for the output on that USB. There's our input. Filter capacitor. Another inductor. Interesting. So sadly, we can't learn too much about it. Okay, I have reassembled everything. And this time we'll power it up with the batteries in it. and see what happens here okay so they're all charging now if I hold this button for two seconds we're 
we're still at 500 milliamps. All right, tell you what I'll do. Let's power it off. We'll remove our batteries. See, we're trying to figure out what it takes to change the uh, charge current. All right, power's back on. One, two, ah, 750 milliamp, one, two, 1,000 milliamp, one, two, 2,000 milliamp. All right. Put our batteries in here. And it has gone back to 500 milliamp hours. Okay, I'm confused. Back to a thousand milliamp hour. Try one battery. Okay, so that's good for a thousand milliamps. Try a second one. Okay, those are all charging at a thousand milliamp hours. We'll try the third one. And it's dropped down to 750 milliamp hours. All right. Perhaps it's just this battery. So we'll remove our batteries. Power off the unit. Power it back on. Switch back up to 1,000 milliamp. and try this green battery. No, it likes that at a thousand milliamps. All right, let's add in the orange one. It likes that. Now I bet you when I put in the third battery, it drops back down to 750. Yep. And the fourth one's probably going to drop it down to 500. Yep. Okay, so two batteries you can charge at 1,000 milliamps, three batteries at 750, four batteries at 500. Well, we might as well go all the way. And see what it takes to charge one at 2,000 milliamp hours. I'm guessing the way it's going that we'll only be able to charge one at 2,000 milliamp hours. Okay, so here comes one. That's good and two and we're down to a thousand all right so now we know you can charge one battery at two thousand two batteries at one thousand three batteries at 750 or four batteries at five thousand or five hundred milliamp hours interesting i thought you could charge all four of them but no, that, that would be too much. That makes sense. Because it's only taking two, two amps in. It can only output two amps. So half an amp times four is two amps. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So there you have it. The Litokala Smart Charger from DF Robot. They shipped DHL. It got here from China in a week. That beats the heck out of uh, some of the other people we deal with, right? Right. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, and a big thanks to DF Robot for sending this to us free of charge for our consideration. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.